Hey guys, good afternoon. Welcome back to Malika, Kenya. It's yet another beautiful, beautiful day. And today I'm coming to you straight from Mount Elgon. Oh my gosh, guys, the views on this side are so beautiful. Like you can see Mount Elgon from, from where I'm standing, but the trees are so many. I'm gonna give you views, eh? So we are walking in this highway. We were on a motorbike, but unfortunately we ran out of fuel. So our rider has gone to lake. So we ran out of fuel, so we are walking to the market. I'm with my two friends here. Judith, Hi guys, I'm Judith. <laughs> uh -huh. Kindly subscribe to her channel uh -huh. and also remember to support her. Yes. And she's my she's been my host, by the way. She has been my host and her daughter is a YouTuber. I'm going to put her channel right here. If you watched my Mother's Day live, I think you saw her daughter. And I'm with Mama Rachel. She's just going to wave. Mama Rachel, wave too. Bye bye. <laughs> that is Mama Rachel. We are going to the market to get some groceries as we are setting up a business for her. Guys, if that's not from grass to grass, I don't know what it is. I'm going to give you more footages in the market. Our bike is here. We are on our way to the market to make Mama Rachel's dream come true and this dream is owning her own business. I spoke to her, I asked her what business she would love to do and she told me she would love to sell groceries, fresh vegetables, charcoal and everything that she can get. So we decided, you know what, that is what we are going to do for her and today we are going to set up a business for her. Malik Squad, I'm very very excited about this and I can't wait to show you the final final product and I can't wait to show you Mama Rachel's kiosk. So we decided to start off at this place where we saw these fresh cabbages and we decided we are going to take some cabbages from here since um, cabbages were a bit expensive but this place they were a bit affordable. So we took cabbages from here before we proceeded to buying other things. I'm just going to show you everything that we got and also setting up the market. So you better stick till the end of this video as you're not ready for the final final product. Second stop, we decided to buy omena. Omena is this small fish. Uh, I think they are called silver fish. I'm not very, very sure. And they are very, very common in the village. Most people like love preparing omena and they sell faster and they don't get spoiled faster. So we decided we are going to get omena for her as well. Uh, three of them, three, what do you call it? Three Gorogoros. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are going to understand Gorogoros, but for starting up, this will be okay. And also she will be eating from there a little bit with the kids, you know? Yeah. 
decided to also get some onions and we decided to get them at least in bulk because she will also like using some onions from there because she can't go to buy onions while her share herself she's selling them so we decided to get the onions and this uh, is where they get onions from and what i can say is just uh things in the market are kind of expensive i know i've been saying this so many times but things are not the way they used to be but we're still managing we're still managing <laughs> The sun was too hot while we were walking, like going to still buy more stuff. We met with this boy who was selling ice pops and we decided to buy them by the way. And it was so refreshing because the sun was so, so hot. And this just reminded me of our childhood. Anyway, I love ice pops and I still buy them even right now. So, yeah, it helped to cool us down because as you can see, the sun was too hot. It rained afterwards and here we believe when the sun is too hot, it actually rains afterwards. And now we head over to get some tomatoes. We met, uh, we saw like some very, very nice tomatoes and we decided we were going to buy some tomatoes from here. Also, uh, we met someone who like sells potatoes tomatoes straight from the farm so she promised us she's going to bring like more tomatoes we just decided to buy a few for just starting off but we ordered a whole bucket for her so it's going to arrive the next day <laughs>
So we ordered some things directly from the supplier and uh, for example we also bought some charcoal which we ordered they are going to come later on but for now for the market we are done with these things we also got a few other things that you're going to see on the other video and we are home now it's time to arrange the kiosk and oh my god guys let me show you what we got from the market you're not going to believe it let me just show you everything that we got and mama Rachel is here cleaning up her shop her new place of work she's excited and she was very very happy about it we didn't even eat lunch and no one even noticed that we were hung we were we went without lunch until we were done with everything so let's now arrange the kiosk we'll show you now the after of the kiosk trying to arrange the place up we also got some fruits and we decided this is going to be the starting stock which is not bad for starting and uh, so far so good the location is good we're just praying to God to bring customers and the next stock maybe we are going to even get like more things <laughs>
Beba tu mwagi. So at least it's coming up. It's bringing the face and I'm so excited. I'm very, very happy for her and she's very, very hardworking. Good thing about it. And she's very ambitious about this job. She wants to make it even bigger than this. And so uh, the remaining things uh, is charcoal and firewood and also skuma wiki, which has to be bought early in the morning from the garden. So not everything is here, but this is most of the things here in the kiosk. So we, are, we decided we are going to start off with this and set something small aside so that when she goes to pick her second stock, we can top up because at the same time, the family is also eating from here. Like, as I mentioned earlier, they cannot go to buy vegetables elsewhere while they are selling. So they are also having them from here. That is why we are going to boost the business when she's going to get more stuff. Chato malize tufanyi esabu. And finally, this is the face of the business, guys. Uh, a few things are still remaining. They are going to arrive later on. Others are going to come tomorrow. But this is how it looks like, guys. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? Just right in front of her house. Now she will be able to sell from here and also watch her kids and not leave her kids by themselves, guys. You know what? I'm so happy. I'm so proud of you all, Malik Squad. Thank you so much for the love and for the support. Thank you for the few people who came through for Mama Rachel. If you participated in changing Mama Rachel's lifestyle, Mama Rachel's life and the kids, thank you so much. May God bless you abundantly. Okay. Okay, be blessed in each and every one of you who came through for Mama Rachel, who made sure Mama Rachel is, will be stable on her own. And now look at her beautiful, beautiful kiosk. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful, Malik Squad? Yeah, this is what I really wanted to see. I'm very, very happy. Another thing that we decided to do is do some shopping for the family, you know, like to just take them through this month before the business is stable we decided to do some shopping and to buy just some basic needs for her you know something that will push her because i know sometimes it takes some time for business to grow so we decided to do some shopping for her and this is what we got for her despite prices hiking a little bit uh, we decided at least what we can get for her to take her through and she was very very happy and excited Malik Squad I can't thank you enough I really really can't thank you enough myself I didn't see this coming but look at this right now just look at this I'm very very grateful and I really really thank God for everything I do not take anything for granted I do not take any support that I got to support this family for granted and may God bless each and everyone of you for changing these kids life and their mother be blessed i can't thank you enough malik squad because i lack words to just tell you how grateful i am but i'm very very happy that mama rachel's life and that of her kids is becoming better by day not really the best that they can have but it is better than what they had this is mama rachel's from grass to grace 
moment. Oh my God, I'm so happy.